Hey friends, Catherine Doss here with Cat's Keto Crew. Happy, what day is it? Thursday? <laughs> okay, so I am making some egg roll in a bowl tonight, and I know there's a gazillion recipes out there, but this is like the easy way to almost even cheat. A super easy meal to start with. It's like ridiculously easy. So over here, I did start with a little bit of sesame oil in my pan, okay? Got that heated up and added about a pound and a half of um, just ground pork, okay? So not even sausage, like just ground pork. And then I did sprinkle a little bit of um, dried ginger in there. So if you had fresh ginger, you could add that in there too. Um, but today I just went with the, with the dried ginger. So all I'm doing now is just letting it cook all the way, right? Anyone else have one of these handy dandy tools? Okay, so I'm not a pampered chef rep, but this might be one of my favorite like <laughs> pampered chef gadgets. This thing is fabulous for like chopping up, making like the crumbles, the meat crumbles, right? So like for taco meat and for, I love it for egg roll in a bowl. And since we eat a lot of egg roll in a bowl, you know, okay. So, but it just chops, right? Even if your meat is like slightly on the edge of frozen, it like helps break it up too. So anyways, just one of those handy gadgets. Anyone else? Love it. Okay, so that is cooked. Now, this is where it gets like stupid, stupid easy because, well, you're going to see. So, I am taking a bag of coleslaw. Okay, so this is just a regular old bag of, of coleslaw from Publix. Let's see if I can get it open without um, spraying it all over the place. Go for the knife before we have a spectacle. All right, and I am literally just going to dump the whole bag in there. Now, this always likes to make a huge, nice mess all over my stove because, well, big old bag of coleslaw. But anyone else like coleslaw or um, like when you're cooking spinach too, you're like, how's that all gonna fit in the pan? And then the next second you're like, oh, it's cause it all shrinks. Okay, so, I didn't drain the sausage because I want some of that oils and fats from, not the sausage, from the pork to combine, I'll worry about that later, combine with my cabbage. So my husband likes the cabbage to be kind of crispy, not crispy, but he doesn't want it mushy. So I am just stirring get some of this cabbage to get a little smaller. It will shrink like um, spinach too. Cabbage, spinach, they all do the, the shrinking thing. Okay, and this is where it gets really easy. So if you see egg roll in a bowl recipes, they have lots of ingredients. This is one of my main ones, okay? So this is sugar-free G. Hughes teriyaki marinade. It's one of my favorites. I grab it at um, Walmart Neighborhood Market. So I'm literally just going to put, I don't know, maybe that's about four or five tablespoons. I guess it's gonna kind of depend on how saucy you want your egg roll a bowl, but like literally you could stop there. Like you could just add this and be done. But I also add a little bit of soy. I find that that sugar-free um, G Hughes carries enough sugar or sweetness to it that you don't need to add any other sweetness to it. And we like it spicy around here. So I'm also adding a touch of sriracha to it. And there we go. Okay, and that's it. <laughs> I mean, it really doesn't get a whole lot easier than that, right? So now I am just combining all of that. As you can see, the cabbage is shrinking combining all of that in there and getting a good mix. And you can tell as it's cooking whether you probably want some more of the G. Hughes um, sugar-free 
teriyaki in there or not. That's totally up to you. I guess it really just depends on how, how saucy, how saucy you want it. So here is another interesting tip with egg roll in a bowl. So this you can eat just like this, right? You could put it on top of cauliflower rice if you really wanted to. Um, I've also taken crepini or cut the carb wraps and made like legit egg rolls, like put this in stat inside one of those wraps and stuck it in the air fryer and made egg rolls. And if you are counting your macros and you are finding that you may be a little bit low on maybe some fats for the day, so this does not, the, the pork's going to carry some fat, but not a huge amount. So if you're needing up your fats, I know this is going to sound really weird, but like go with me here for a second. If you take like a tablespoon of mayonnaise in your like serving bowl and just add it in there into this, it makes it into this like creamy, creamy sauce. And it's delicious. And I know that sounds so strange, but I love adding a like, maybe you don't even have to do a full tablespoon, maybe just a half a tablespoon of mayonnaise into your serving and then you will be able to up your fats a little bit that way too. So that's it. I mean, literally how, like we haven't been on here very long, right? And a dinner is served. So we'd love to hear what you're having for dinner. If you've tried any of the G Hughes marinades before, they do make life pretty easy around here and that's what we're all about. So can't wait to hear what you're having for dinner and I will check in with you later. Bye.